Well, hello everyone, and thank you for joining me for this presentation. Today we're going to talk about fuelcast.net, which helps us with in season forage and fuel projections. My name is Matt Reeves, and I work with the Rocky Mountain Research Station in Missoula, Montana, where I focus exclusively on rangeland issues. Well, why fuelcast.net? Well, it's pretty simple. Have you ever wanted to know what the forage is going to look like in your neck of the woods this year? Do you want to get a jump on your competition? I thought so. Also, we spend weeks and millions of dollars every year to get poor calibration on our fire behavior simulations. And by using fuelcast.net, we're going to lead to increased safety and definitely better profits if you're a producer. Now, you might be skeptical, but look, you're already using indicators that help you understand how your management might change this year. Do you buy cows? Do you sell cows? Do you buy hay? Do you hedge your bets? Do you look at options and play the futures market? Okay, so this is just another tool in your toolbox that I encourage you to use. Well, what is it? Well, it's monthly projections of forage and fuel, as the name implies, and it's based on machine learning. So this is a deployed artificial intelligence application. It's a web app, and it's on the Google Earth engine. But you can Google fuelcast.net right now and see for yourself. It learns from daily eddy, which is a drought metric. It learns from daily precip, daily precipitation, so rainfall, and also some remote sensing information. All that information is trained against our rangeland production monitoring service, which offers geospatial depictions of rangeland yield, that's productivity, from 1984 to present day. Importantly, FuelCast starts four months ahead of the peak, so you get a look four months in advance. So in this instance, in this northern Great Plains uh, mixed grass prairie, if the peak is about June 15th, you can simply subtract four months, and that's when FuelCast is going to start in your neck of the woods. So in this case, it would start February 15th and begin making those projections for you to use. Well, in our product line, I've listed a few here, but it's not limited to just this. But consider the components of forage that we produce. The weekly one-hour fuel yield, that's the really fine fuel stuff. That's the herbs, for example, and the fine leaves, okay? In addition to not only the yield in pounds per acre, but also as the percent change. We also uh, bifurcate this, this pool of yield, if you will, by the annual herbaceous. So we want to know where there's cheatgrass going on, where we see the tumble mustards, et cetera. And importantly, we keep track of standing dead so that we know how much of that standing dead material will coming into the growing season, with, which can be very important, not only from an herbivory standpoint, but also from a fire and fuel standpoint. So those are components I want to focus on today. Well, you might be asking yourself, well, gosh, here we go with yet another tool. Well, does it work? Well, I'll tell you that it does in most places. This is FuelCast dated April 26, 2021. Take a look at the four areas I have circled in red. All right, we said April 26, 2021, that 82% of U.S. ranges were going to be experiencing reduced yields. And you all know how bad 2021 does. We highlighted the northern Great Plains, the inland northwest there on the Snake River Plain off to eastern Washington and Oregon. We said California was in really bad shape, which of course you know that to be true. We did miss it, the boat a little bit in Arizona and much of the Southwest due to the monsoons, but we can talk a little more about that. We're changing our algorithm to accommodate that two stage growing season, if you will. Well, if you've ever wanted to know what your forage is gonna look like, I encourage you to tune into fuelcast.net. And if nothing else, I want you to tune into reading the tea leaves. That is our monthly or approximately monthly webcast where we tell you in seven minutes or less what's going to be happening in your neck of the woods. So it's kind of like a weatherman report except for the forage and fuels. And I can tell you if you spend some time with it and you pay attention to what we're saying, you pay attention to what the data are telling you, this can transform your management so that you are proactive and not reactive and you will get a jump on your competition. I'd like you to share this link with anyone who might benefit from this and please contact me with any suggestions. And as always, I love to get photos about what's happening on the ground so that I can share in those monthly webcasts. Remember, reading the tea leaves. If you'd like to be involved in that and know when we are going live, let me know. I'll put you on our constant contact and you can look for us there. Thank you very much, everyone. Have a good day.